In this video, I am talking about the Holy Land Mars 400S Pro Wireless Video Transmitter Receiver Kit. If you are new to this channel, my name is Puff, and here I talk about photo and video related gear. So if this is your thing, then please consider subscribing. Before I go into it, I must say that this kit was supplied to me by Holy Land. However, I wasn't paid or asked by Holy Land or anyone else to say anything specific about it. So this is my honest and 100% unbiased opinion about it. This is one of those tools and devices that you don't necessarily need, but one that could certainly be very useful and one that literally could be a game changer for any filmmaker. It really depends on what you are really doing, but whatever it is that you are filming, at some point or other, you will want to monitor what your camera is seeing on a bigger screen. Bigger than the one on the back of the camera, of course, and one that is away from your camera for you or other people to see. If you are just using a small on the camera monitor, then these are just not for you. Although there is a way to use your smartphone as a monitor with the transmitter, but I'll talk about it a bit later in this uh, video. These are, however, a perfect choice if you want to monitor your video off the camera without running long HDMI cables and when you want someone else to see what you are filming without actually stopping every two minutes to play the files back to them. It is also a great tool if you are working as a part of a team and when the director or producer must see the camera's feed during the filming process or for monitoring the camera footage in conjunction with a wireless follow focus system. I personally use bigger screens for monitoring when recording. Here for YouTube, I have a 24 inch TV in front of me for monitoring. And I also use a portable 15 inch monitor when filming B-roll in studio or on location. And until recently, I had to run a lot of HDMI cable. In fact, I have 12 meters of it between my camera, the Atomos Ninja 5 recorder and the bigger monitor I like to use on the side anyway. This not only is a lot of thick cable to trip over, but also the length of it attributes to quite a bit of latency. Latency is just the delay you get because of the length of the cables. This, this kit sorts it all out completely. Not only I can send the picture wirelessly from the source to the monitor, but also with minimum latency. Holland claims there is only 0.8 seconds delay with this, and in a real world situation, this is literally not noticeable. You can probably tell that there is a tiny, tiny bit of delay, but it's so small that it's questionable. This system is very easy to use. The receiver and the transmitter are both identical, but have color, a colored cold shoe, tightening screws. And for me, it's easy to remember that the red goes on the recorder, which makes it super easy to recognize which one is which instantly, or even in the low lit rooms. There's just one power supply included to power one of these with. You can also power them via USB-C from a power bank or even phone charger. Otherwise, if you're on the move, you will need Sony NPF batteries. Holy Land claims that these, uh, these small NPF 550 batteries will power these units for up to two hours. But in my experience using these, the transmitter is actually using much more juice. And one of these small batteries will only power it for, for about 40 minutes or less. Using the far bigger NPF 970 batteries makes it more usable for longer periods of time, but add a lot of weight and bulk to these. Cool thing is that the power is hot swappable, so you could actually plug the power bank to change the batteries without losing the, the power at all. Once you connect the units up, the transmitter to the camera and receiver to the monitor with HDMI cables, they just find each other. That's it. You don't need to do any fiddly setups, connect via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or anything. They just find each other and they just work. But if there is an issue with this, you can actually change the channel on both of these manually. Very basic menu displayed on a very old fashioned looking screen, allowing you to change a few settings on both of these. You can change the wireless signal quality for more responsive feed. If there's a noticeable delay on your monitor, if there is a delay on your monitor at all, you can actually reduce the quality of your signal to improve 
the latency. This is a confusingly called scene mode. There is no scene, it's just quality of the, of the signal. You can go from full HD to balanced or to the lowest quality. This is, however, only good for monitoring. Even full HD quality gives very low bitrate video, not really suitable for external recording. Both of these have got built-in fans for cooling. If you ever notice that your microphone is actually picking up the, the sound of the fan, then they can be actually switched off completely in the menus here. You can find here device's Wi-Fi password as well. This is for connecting your phone or a tablet to the transmitter. This is a very useful feature as you can use your smartphone uh, as on the camera monitor. If you are using a transmitter to send the footage to the receiver and another, another off the camera monitor, then you are most definitely, 100% definitely, using only one HDMI output of your camera to connect it to the transmitter. So you can connect a monitor. With this setup, you can actually monitor what you are filming on the camera as well with your phone. This is also great for other people on set, like clients, to be able to see what you are filming in real time on their smart devices if they install the app. You can connect multiple smart devices to, the, to, to these, definitely two, maybe three. <laughs> the app gives you all the standard monitoring tools like waveform, histogram, focus peaking, force color, zebras, and even custom LUTs. The app also allows you to record video directly to your smart device and capture stills from the video feed. Both got the same sockets, both have USB-C. Uh, you can actually use the receiver to connect to your computer for streaming. However, to do so, you need to buy additional USB-C to LAN adapter. It does not work with just USB-C cable. It's a shame as it would be a, a great and a better way to connect your camera to the computer without the capture card. Especially a lot of com computers, laptops especially, don't have LAN sockets uh, anymore. So you have to buy yet another adapter. So you have to convert from USB-C to LAN and from LAN to USB or USB-C. <laughs> Yeah, full-size HDMI sockets, input on the receiver and the output on the transmitter. Also, SDI connectors for the Pro cam cameras and monitors and screw-on power socket for external power supply. Mars 400S Pro retails for £615 here in UK or $650 in US. It's not cheap. It's certainly not something you buy off Amazon after a few beers on Saturday night. This is a tool you should consider buying when you start tripping over your cables or there is a definite must for your clients or the crew to monitor what you are filming in real time. It is a key to cable-free freedom and the one that can be a real game changer in your filming workflow. I really like these and I have been using them regularly for a while now. For me, a one-man band, it makes it really easy to connect my camera to the larger external monitor without running meters of cables in between, which always was very limiting, especially when handheld filming. This really is the most boring but must-have tool for any filmmaker and one that can take your production certainly to the next level instantly. And this is it from me. I hope this video was helpful in any way. If it was, please give me the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and hit that bell button below to get notifications of my future videos. Buy me a coffee to support the channel. There's a link below for that. Check out my new t-shirt shop where you can buy I Shoot People for a Living and Geek t-shirts from. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. And here I talk about if, if you are one, two. These, these units, there's only, well, this, Holy, Holy Land. Meh. Meh. If you are.